this is Kanchan Kaito with the Suicide Donkeys. And as the title shows, I'm going to talk about Tag Collector. I'm going for Tag Collector 3. I'm going to show you why I'm such a tag whore. Uh, it looks like I picked up almost 100 from uh, last video, which was not even 24 hours ago. Uh, my Command Bunker is looking good. I'm only 8.5 hours away from it. I got almost uh, 300,000 supplies. For some reason, I had uh, almost 200,000 supplies, and I did not get attacked. I have no idea what's going on with that. Uh, as you see, I don't have camouflage on. Uh, I, I be honest, I can't figure it out. I, I don't know if everybody took a off day or what. Um, but yeah, I didn't get attacked, and it totally blew my mind. I thought risking that 200,000 for overnight was going to be a big mistake, and it turned out it wasn't. Before we get into the uh, tag talk and why I'm getting so many tags and uh, the benefit of getting the tags and the battles and everything early on in the game, I want to go straight to, uh, not the battle report, I'm sorry, go straight to the alliance. Uh, we're still sitting on four players, if you include myself. Uh, one thing I like is the three players I do have are very active. As the uh, YouTube more videos come out, it means it's going to get more views, which you get more players, and hopefully we pull more hardcore PvP players. Now, I did send out messages to about six players last night I found that were under level 20 that had a lot of tags, trying to pull them into the organization, but I haven't heard back from them. I don't know if they've seen it or not or anything. Uh, no replies, no nothing yet, so I'm hoping we pull at least one or two of those six. Um, I'm also probably going to be doing live stream on the PS4 network. Uh, by doing that, I'm hoping that I'll pull one or two people and maybe they'll pull one. I don't know. I mean, why not? You know, if I'm playing the game, I might as well do it live stream and maybe I'll get lucky. All right. Now we're going to look at the uh, top ranked players and see how we only have three and I'm probably going to be doing uh, three a day. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple. All right. First, we're looking at uh, Meow Meow. Uh, it looks like Meow Meow might have pulled about 100 tags. Uh, I think she was at uh, 1,051 last episode. Uh, Shoot to Kill, looks like he pulled about 7 tags. Uh, and we got uh, Deranged Tracker, which pulled about 40 tags. Now, all of them are level 8. I love the low levels. The reason I'm loving the low levels and I want low, low levels in the organization is so when we grow, we grow together and uh, it'll benefit the organization a lot better. You easier to keep track. Uh, people be more into it because they're coming up from day one. They're not jumping into the middle of it. And uh, I mean, I, I just see all kinds of benefits to it. Now, if you look at me, my tags, I picked up almost 100. But like I said, I'm a tag whore. Now I'm going to show you why. Okay, this is one of the main reasons right here 450 gold for tag collector 3 it's not the only reason but I want that 450 reason I want the 450 is I want another engineer with my uh, base leveling up and everything going on and having to upgrade walls I think it's more profitable to have the uh, third engineer so you can be upgrading two buildings at the same time you can still be doing battles and you can be picking up uh, more loot to get them walls maxed out Getting them walls maxed out is extremely important. It'd go ahead and slow down your enemy and keep them from uh, taking your base. All right, I went ahead and got the other island. Uh, I picked up the rest of the money and I got the Ever Island. I just want to show y'all that. Uh, I leveled up to uh, level 21 in just that quick, just switching over, and I'm liking it already. I mean, I'm I'm loving this game. Um, I'm growing pretty fast. And hopefully I will have time to show you a battle. I tried to record a battle just a minute ago, but it got corrupted and it didn't work out. But back to the tags. That's one of the reasons. The second reason, if you go to the shop, you go to landmarks, uh, you actually get a flag for this. Now, you can buy flags for $1 million, and there's 18, so you're looking at $18 million to get all the flags. But these four right here are free. Um, the only one I'm working on right now is the Tag Collector, uh, but the funny thing is a lot of these others are getting points going towards them to get these flags unlocked. Uh, but we're talking about Tag Collector 3 and how to get these tags easier. Uh, at the beginning, early on in the game, your best bet is just go to battles and just find an enemy. Uh, it doesn't matter who you attack, 
you get the 10 tags from Tech and anybody who's on this platform. Now, I really can't do that no more because, as you can see, i gotten so high that, I mean, the pages are just filled with level 50s, uh, 30s, 40s, high level 40s. I mean, I, I just can't do it no more. So, I still want those tags. So, in order to get those tags, what I have to do is I have to go to the Alliance. I have to scroll over till I get to the leadership board. Then the best thing to do is start at the very bottom. But just for uh, namesake, we're going to skip the bottom real quick. Just click on anybody. So I ain't picking on somebody here. And you want to scroll all the way at the bottom. Now, once you get to the bottom, a lot of these teams, and this team is up there, so they're probably not going to be one of them. Uh, actually, I was wrong. A lot of these teams have these low-level players, all right? It doesn't matter if they're level 1, 2, 3, 5, 9, 10, whatever. If you're not picking up resources, uh, attack these low-level players, especially if you're in the progress of just upgrading and you're just killing time. And 10 players will give you uh, 70 tags. Uh, I prefer to try to hit at least 15 bases a day. It doesn't take long. All you have to do is train riflemen. You click on the base, uh, you look like, okay, this one's easy. Um, I really hate to waste tanks on this base, but we'll just go ahead and throw them in. So you throw in your forces. Um, we don't have to worry about landmines, cannons, nothing else. So uh, why my army's building, uh, I'm kind of shorthanded here, but riflemen is your best bet. Just send in the riflemen, have them run over the base, and then get off. Uh, you're looking at uh, base from level 1 to 5. Your riflemen are at least level 3, which they should be level 3 by now. Then, uh, really, it takes no time at all. I, I, I think 20 troops I dropped down just for a speedy, quick fight. Um, resources, I'm not going to get much resources. That's not what I'm doing here. Um, what I'm doing here is just tag collecting. That's all I'm after is the tags. Uh, you should be getting enough resources to make up any kind of launch. It doesn't really cost that much for riflemen. So, I mean, throwing a bunch of riflemen down, uh, getting a few supplies that are on these islands, and getting those three stars. That Them three stars what matters so you can get the maximum amount of, of tags. Now, I just got one more building here. As soon as I take that down, I should have seven tags. Even though he's a level 5, uh, level 1 would have resulted in the same situation. So, last building, boom. There we go. And there you go, 7 tags. So, I got the 7 tags. The supplies don't really matter. Um, I'm definitely going to have to do more, uh, two more tanks now. But as you see, you got supplies constantly being made up. Uh, you're getting your money back. Uh, the... If you're tag hunting, you're just being a tag whore, then really just use riflemen. Uh, right now, I'm trying to get enough money to get the rest of the islands, two more islands, before this is done and get these walls up. And next episode, I should be in the 1800s, uh, hopefully about 1850. I don't know. It just depends on who I hit and how many I hit. Um, but that's the easiest way to get the tags. I mean, there's no trick to it. There's no, uh, it's not really that time consuming. You don't have to get crazy with it. Because, I mean, like, if you wanted to go for the higher level bases and you wanted the loot and the tags, the best thing to do is while you're training, go YouTube, watch my videos. <laughs> I only got two. This will be my third. But, I mean, just watch any kind of videos. I mean, uh, you can go watch YouTube, whatever. And,. You don't log out of this game. You'll still be logged in. So you'll still be shown as being on patrol. Nobody can attack you. Your stuff is still being built. And go do something else. If you want to log out, you ain't got that many resources. You're not resource hunting. You're just tag hunting. Then go ahead and jump on another game. I mean, like, uh, this is going to be 35 minutes. And this is going to be 35 minutes. So you got 35 minutes to kill. Go do some damn push-ups, man. Uh, just hit the floor. Do... You begin to do 20 to 50 push-ups real quick and go do dishes, go fold your clothes, make your bed, go do something active. You know, it's 30 minutes. It's really not going to be that long. Um, it's a good time killer. Uh, as that videos, watching the episode, the anime, <laughs> or whatever you're into, you know. Just kill the 30 minutes and uh, you can hit those higher level bases. Or as I said, just keep putting riflemen in here. I mean, you'll be hitting a base 
I think I average a base every five minutes. So in an hour, I mean, I'm hitting 12 bases if I'm doing the math right. So that's uh, 84 tags just in an hour, if you're just sitting here an hour. Now, only that, while you're sitting here just doing the riflemen, I mean, loot boxes are dropping everywhere. You will pick up gold. I mean, gold will drop. So, I mean, right now, every time I click on a box, I get two gold. Not every time, but when they deliver gold, I get two gold. So, that's the, about all I have to say as far as Tag Collector 3. I mean, there's nothing else to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, also, just to let y'all know, I've already accomplished it. But by doing these battles, um, especially if you're Tag Collecting and you do uh, 25 battles, just for the tag collecting. I mean, you're not going for resources because you got a chance to lose. But uh, you can pick up another, I think, 125. I'm not sure. I think that's about right because if I remember right, I think level 2 or what I'm about to show you. Okay, Trailblazer. Uh, contains 25 consecutive victories against the enemy. That doesn't count if they attack you. I don't believe. I don't know because I did all 25 in one day. But I think, if I remember right, I picked up a 155, 160, 135, somewhere like that. But Trailblazer 3 does pay you 100 gold. I used, actually, that gold to help uh, upgrade this, just to speed it up. I guess I kinda, I'm kind of i kind of wasting the gold by doing stuff like that. I should be saving up for engineers or... Just if I have to speed something up just to save an hour or something, speed it up. I mean, heck, even the troops, 35 minutes, 11 gold. You know, I, I ain't going to spend 11 gold speeding that up. But, man, I hope you enjoyed the information. I hope the information helped you out. Um, being a tag whore does pay off. There is bases out there you can hit um, that contain a lot of money, as I've shown you. And uh, until next time, you know, peace out. Uh, might actually make another video today talking about the gold and how you get oh, a lot of gold. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not going to make no promises on nothing on the next video or anything. I'm just going to leave that as a surprise. And if you like the video, like I said, hit like, subscribe. I, I could use subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, please, you know, we're looking for, you know, our players. Uh, getting in the alliance on the leaderboard is not really going to be that hard to do. We got four players, and we already got 5,000 tags, which is amazing. You know, I think it's awesome. Um, we got active players, and we are looking for more. So, uh, peace out. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, and I hope it helps you. All right? Later.